here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. So you can get into this by either logging into Funbridge online or downloading the program. So with Funbridge, and you're in, you want to click Get Started slash Practice Exclusive Tournaments and then click View All Tournaments and search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands. So we'll give that a shot. Taking out the top spot today is David Calapita, plus 45. And then PSYMM, uh, plus 30. And in equal third spot, Test Us Russ, plus 29. Test Us R Us. And Rose Petal 1. And rounding out the top five, QBA 12, plus 28. And two boards still to go. Zaranax could be uh, closing in on that. So uh, curious to see at the end where they end up. Anyway, a quick look at how everyone's done. So looks like about 10 imps on offer. Yeah, so if I get 10, I reckon I've done done pretty well. So we'll jump in and uh, see what we can do. Okay, flat 16 count, nice easy one no trump overcall. Don't really have anything else to say. Okay, 10 of spades lead. Uh, dummy came down with 6, uh, 11, 13. My partner's led the 10 of spades. That could be top of a doubleton. Uh, just checking the robots play three clubs as natural non-forcing. Right. So the question should be like, do I win the queen and just go ace of spades spade, or do I try something? Else? Right, has my partner led the 10 from 10, 9, 8, or 10 doubleton, singleton 10? Probably not singleton 10. Um, that being said, all my other... Like everything else is pretty awkward to play. Um, the other issue is that seven of spades might set up as well. So like I go ace of spades, that gets roughed bad. That follows, and then uh, maybe I set up two spade tricks for them. So maybe I should switch. Um, I'm missing ace king of clubs and the king of diamonds. Worth noting, if West had all of those, they should double me. So uh, wet, my partner should have either the King of Diamonds, King of Clubs, or Ace of Clubs. And I think I'm tempted just to play a club here, and I'll get to find out if my partner has one of those. And if not, I can play them for the King of Diamonds. Okay. Nine of Spades, and that held. Um, so my partner probably doesn't have the King of Diamonds. Got six clubs. I don't know where the Eight of Spades is, or do I? Okay, my partner probably has the Eight of Spades, or else they would have put the King on that. We've got Nine, King, Ace. I think. Alright. So, I think I've got two. Um, my partner could have five diamonds and there could be a singleton king. Uh, I could just take my two aces, but I think singleton king of diamonds is not that likely. I should have considered, like, am I ever getting more than that? My partner's not getting on lead again. But I probably should have uh, considered it more. Okay, uh, I don't think that I need to rush, like, I can't, if the King of Hearts is a discard, then, uh, they could have, uh, taken it anyway. Diamond, and... I wonder why they threw a heart away. Maybe they were going to... Have a quick look at that end position there. Um, so when I led the ace of spades. I ditched a heart. Uh, okay, so I've only got one more club and the heart suit's still blocked. 
So if they rough, uh, they still can't do anything. All right. So uh, I was pretty sure it would be like this equal, like just trading tricks sort of position. Um, but it, it seemed unusual because their heart was good. So the heart blockage here um, meant that they were just like, okay, we'll take that. Anyway, good start, plus two imps. We got 10 high card points, four, three, five, one, vulnerable against not, stiff king of clubs, not great card. Could consider making a takeout double here. I've got five diamonds and three hearts. Tempted by it. Like I really should have four hearts for it, but we'll try and get in there. Diamonds, right. I think I want to compete to three diamonds. Hopefully I don't get doubled. <laughs> it's a bit risky after the redouble there. Um, but like the five card diamond suit and not having the hearts made me want to do it. But yeah, I thought like, eh, maybe I'm down one. Right. So a spade, a club, a diamond and two hearts. So it looks like we're down one. Uh, East bid spades. There was a one spade bid there and spades are... And look like four. Oh, that's not a support reader. At least three cards in spades or a maximum hand. Yeah, actually, with that potentially being a support redouble, I don't really mind doing it. Obviously, it hasn't panned out particularly well. Looks like spades are four, um, two, maybe even five, one. Hmm, they're gonna get another rough, aren't they? They're gonna play a heart over and get a spade rough, which will be terrible. Down two, yeah, really punished here. Okay, shouldn't have bid. <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, they bid diamonds, it was tempting. All right, lose my 11 imps for that. Might be able to make game or something. Minus three imps, yeah. Okay, they, they can make five clubs, but I really shouldn't have been bidding that much. Some people defended four clubs, did they? Uh, they opened a diamond. I, I did too much bidding there. I was lucky to get away with uh, lose three imps. Uh, 11 points, but we're favorable. All right. Uh, I think I've got it set to um, short club. I should have opened a club. Double or redouble. Three diamonds. Uh, at least 10 points. Forcing the fit. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't want my partner to play if they've got a, a club stopper. I'll just bid three hearts. Four diamonds. I am not liking where this is going. An invitational hand. Okay. So they were... I, like, they were forcing and then they stopped. It was like, oh, okay, strange. Right. Uh, three diamonds would have been a nicer spot, but uh, we've got 12 opposite 11. Um, if I opened a club, it would have worked out a fair bit better. We would have got to like play a no trump or something, maybe even three no trumps. Um, and they're unlikely to leave their club and you're likely to get five diamonds. Anyway, West doubled me. Um, East bid two clubs. I've got two clubs and a heart to lose. I've got a spade loser. Ace King of Clubs. Heart Shift. Seven of Heart Shifts. West made the takeout double. Shifted to the Seven of Hearts. That's really peculiar. 
diamond up. And I'm going to return a diamond. I could consider making it take a, a deep finesse here of the jack. Like they did make it take out double. Um, but that's not that much to go on. Um, I don't think they've got like the seven heart shift makes me think that they don't have four hearts. So if they've got three hearts, four clubs, four spades, yeah, I, th I think we just play for diamonds to be three, two. All right. Um, and then I want to see if I can get rid of my uh, spade on the long heart. Hey, ace is there. Hearts could be 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Do I take the queen of hearts? Take the queen of hearts, see if they break. If they do, I got the rest. Don't. But West, if they ha West did have four. Um, I haven't seen any club discards. Uh, any spade discards, sorry. Have I? I don't think I have. Um, I haven't had anything to discard on. Well, West discarded some club. They didn't have a really long suit to discard on. So they had four hearts. I, they had two diamonds. They discarded one club. But if I thought I'd seen a spade discard, then I would have um, uh, pitched my spade and tried to squeeze West in the mages. Um, but without that, I think I just had to rely on the finesse, even with the person not making the, the double. Anyway, <laughs> we, we made in the end. Uh, lost one imp. That was hard work. And people got to two diamonds. Okay, so redouble and then their partner just bid two diamonds. Got to play there. Yeah. That, they, like my part. Because I'd set it to like four card diamond suit, I think that's what really encouraged my partner to jump to three diamonds. Um, so on this deal, you could have made four spades. And playing our four three spade fit with spades breaking three three. Neat. Anyway, we're all square. I've been doing a lot of bidding. Um, so might tone it back a bit, but we'll see. We'll we'll take it as it comes. Tempted by a double, which is clubs and spades, 8 to 11. That seems perfect. Trying to compete here. Two spades. Ace, king, double, and heart. Not great for doing that, but uh, I had the right shape. And we've got 18 points. The opponents have 22. West has like 12 to 14, so east has 8 to 10. That Jack of diamonds lead is a bit... Oh no, West, so righty, so my righty's the strong hand. They're the ones with uh, uh, like more of the points. Diamonds are like 4-2 or 5-1. They have a club fit, which is awkward. I might be able to, I think planning from the south hand's the best. In diamonds, I want to look out for the king and the eight of diamonds. Um, see if East has a singleton or... Anything like that. I know the king of diamonds is with west. Uh, I got a couple of heart losers. Maybe I can jump uh, some of them. So we might just start drawing. Uh, um, like that. Okay, so West had uh, I said two spades. Hi, Marjorie. Thanks for coming in. All 
All right, so I can't do everything I want with this. So I might just discard once and then rough the next one. And that's just, if you get down to just one loser, then you're in a decent spot or something that like you can work with it. So I can trump one of those clubs. Maybe I can throw the other one on diamond, um, but uh, potentially I've got better options for squeezing people. No eight of diamonds. So West has two diamonds here. Um, diamond. Still no eight. We're going to rough, rough the nine of hearts. And give up the last club. Made two spades. Yeah, I think that one will be pretty good. I think one no trump by them would probably make. Plus five imps. So if you don't compete over it. Uh, so this weird sort of spot when the auction's just sort of petering out. Um, you can double just with like maximum past hands and showing the two unbid suits. And we managed to get to uh, our spade fit and make it with just 18 points. So paid uh, dividends there. So plus five. So overbidding is not always bad. That one wasn't overbidding, but uh, just about right. Okay, we got 15 points, five, two, two, four. Uh, pretty normal to open a spade here. Um, I'm vaguely tempted by a one no trump. Uh, I was thinking of just protecting my king of hearts by doing that, but I'll just do normal and bidding a spade. Uh, maybe if you swapped my mages around or um, gave me something extra in diamonds. Invite. Okay. Be a pushy one, but it imps you. I feel like you have to give it a shot. Looks like we're a trick short. We got five clubs, ace, king of hearts, and a diamond. Scratch that, we're up to nine tricks. So sometimes people lead fourth highest low from king queen against diamond, uh, no trumps. So that's why I went in like that. Um, all right, well, I'll just lose a spade uh, here. Just in case. They might not continue diamonds. They almost certainly will, but uh, no harm in doing that. And better chances of sneaking out an extra trick if you lose one of them early. So largely, I'm just going to see if my ten of hearts becomes a winner. One heart discard. Two heart discard. I pitched two diamonds. So I think West has a five card diamond suit. Um, so East had king, queen, fourth, maybe? Mm -hmm. They're holding on to stuff in hearts and spades. Maybe I can get greedy. Right, let's say East had the five card diamond suit. And they win the spade and diamond do it as well. I am already pretty happy about bidding and making 3 no, so I don't think it's worthwhile, but my guess is at this stage I can actually get an extra trick by playing the Jack of Spades. So... Take it now. Alright, so I want to take a quick look. Uh, I think it's nine trick. Uh, let's just look at that end position. So here, they'd unblocked their diamonds. Okay, so they had two diamonds and a spade. Right, so there was no way they could have uh, beaten me from that stage, even if I played a spade. Um, and sometimes I would actually get an extra trick, so maybe I should try that. People managed 11 tricks, wow. 
in there and they cash all their clubs for playing a spade. Uh, yeah, and then um, you can just duck a heart because you've still got your ace of diamonds intact. That is entirely sensible. I like that a lot better. That is better play. Anyway, we're up to plus 14. That was a handy nine imps there. Um, moving on to board number six. 14 points, 4-4 four, four in the majors. Favorable. We've got 10 of clubs, 10 of hearts. That's good. I'm vaguely considering upgrading into a no trump. Queen Jack Diamonds is terrible for trying to do that. Uh, but other than that, I like being aggressive. Yeah, partner didn't look for a major, which makes my hand a bit worse. Um, you don't have a major suit fit. Partner's got a flat 12 count, so they would have got to game anyway with like a club, a diamond, a no trump, invite three no or something. So being in three no trumps is... Uh, Weston choose to lead a major, even though this option sort of suggests it. Uh, six of clubs. We've got two spades, a heart, a club. Four tricks. I can get maybe two in diamonds. I can maybe get three more in hearts. I think hearts is where I want to start. Leading low from king queen again. So there's the nine. So like king queen seven six. Something like that. Uh, we'll start with a heart finesse. East is a past hand. All right. Might just knock out this diamond here and now. Or the eight of hearts as well before. Uh, right. King, queen of clubs, probably the king of hearts and the ace of diamonds and they had six clubs is that right six clubs king queen of clubs ace of diamonds king of hearts i'd be bidding with that hand so for me it's a bit like i'm trying to work out if i had the queen of spades i would definitely be bidding with it um So my hearts are good. Like, do I want to finesse here? King queen to six clubs, king of hearts, ace of diamonds. I'd already be bidding. Yeah, if you also had the queen of spades, they really should be bidding. Like, but I can't work out why the robots aren't bidding on that hand already. I feel like the Queen of Spades is extremely likely to be in the East hand. Um, and at match point scoring, I would be finessing here. At Imps, I will just bang down the East hand. Also, the note that East discarded a heart, which was maybe from a trick. Uh, spade finesse was working. They get the last two. Um, played it safe, but uh, pretty sure I was on side. Got six simps there. Some people managed the over trick and still got six simps. So I guess it really wasn't worth uh, finessing there. Isn't three clubs supposed to have five clubs? Yes, and weak. Hey, at least we weren't doubled. Deal reported. Nonsense. Right? Did count 14 clubs in an Argin. I learned that it's Argine, by the way, not Argyne. So I've been mispronouncing it forever. Uh, happy Easter. Thanks, Pete. Lost count. Thanks, Pete. Happy Easter, everyone. Hope they all had a uh, good time. One club, two clubs. Natural. Three clubs. Non-forcing a fit. <laughs> that, yeah, the, the description here seems weird. Um, 
if you read like it's very easy to just assume that that bid was michael's um but the robot to play it is natural um so <laughs> uh yeah i can understand that yeah that, uh, that's a nuisance when that happens Luckily, I <laughs> opened a no trump and didn't have that issue <laughs> occur. Anyway, fantastic hand, 6-4. I'm going to bid a diamond and then bid some clubs and grab my clubs and then just bid some diamonds again later. I like showing my uh, second suit before repeating my six-card suit. Partner's just not interested in my minors. I did have a game forcing hand, which was promising, but it uh, seemed like Slam was a bit far away. Anyway, we've got six diamonds, three clubs, maybe four if the jack comes down. We've got the ace of spades. Uh, so, we've got the two of spades lead, so it looks like they're 4-4. Four, four. I just duck this opening lead. Alright, we'll take the ace. I don't think there's much to this one. I'm just gonna unblock the clubs here and now. All right, does the jack fall? Hey, it falls. All right, so I got all but one. Pretty two imps. Okay, I thought that would be flatter. Some people worked their way to six, five diamonds. Some people four hearts, six diamonds. So anyway, we're at plus twenty-two. I'm in eighth spot, so much better than I was currently expecting. One board to go. Imagine what could have been done if I uh, didn't just really overbid and get doubled in a part score. And luckily get away with only losing three imps on that board. Uh, right. I've got 14 points and six hearts. Uh, one, six, three, three. Two past hands here. Um, there's a couple options here. Like one heart is really normal bid. Um, but I'm curious about the spades and I don't have a good defensive hand. Um, so if my partner's weak, I think there's a fair chance that the opponents might make four spades. And I'm tempted by like a, a sort of offbeat, just four heart bid um, to take space away from the opponents and make it difficult for them. Uh, that'll be bad if this is just a part score hand, in, in, in particular our part score hand. Um, I think that's pretty unlikely because uh, they'll... Like it would have to be in three hearts, making nine precisely, because they'll, they'll always be able to bid two spades. Um, might be bad if I get doubled there and just go down and it's a nothing hand. Might be a bit difficult to, for them to double me, and if they do try it, they might work their way to four spades and go down when my partner's got some defense. I'm going to try it. Right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Looks like it's one of those hands where uh, three hearts is the limit. They're not making anything. Um, anyway, I've got three club losers and two diamond losers. Um, I might be able to set up a long spade to discard one. Uh, I need to discard two, though. Maybe I need like King Jack 10 tight spade, so just three spades to the King Jack 10. Six card club suit there. Spade discard, that's good news. That's even better news. I really like that shift. Okay.
that didn't get roughed. The other benefit of four hearts, which I didn't touch on, is it's hard for the opponents to defend. So that's one of the big perks. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that should be a good finish. Four heart bid for the win, plus seven imps. On this deal, you can make three hearts. So <laughs> it was the three heart limit hand. But we finished plus 29 in equal third spot. I was my, I had more than a little help from East West. I was on my own West enemy. An easy hand to play and I screwed it up. Oh no, not again. Appropriate username for that comment. Um, yeah, that, that, that worked out really, really well. Um, so board two, I overbid, got punished. And luckily only lost three imps. Without doing that, I would have been on plus 32, the second spot. So I got bumped, uh, would have bumped myself up a couple of spots. But uh, yeah, that was this week's Funbridge tournament. An interesting one. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, a big shout out to all my patron supporters. If you like what I do and want to try and support me, uh, consider clicking one of the links over there. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.